What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev and in this video we're going to talk about your daily drive on your way to work and how it can be better. I have a horrible commute to work every day. Like it's about 40 minutes each way and that's if there's no traffic and no construction and no accidents. That's how long I drive to work every day, guys. So this topic has been meaning a lot more to me because obviously 40 minutes there and 40 minutes back, and that's on a good day. We're getting close to about two hours almost every day of just driving and commuting. And so in terms of productivity, there's a lot of opportunity there, right? In just that amount of time, that window every day that I cannot avoid. I'm going to always have to drive to work and then drive home. So that window of time is just really a part of my day but how what i choose to do with it right is up to me and it's up to us and so i want to kind of talk about that commute you know maybe you guys aren't driving 30 minutes or 40 minutes but in terms of productivity i just want to talk about that commute and how important that time slot is and how we can be using that time as efficiently as possible and i just have a couple like bullets or things that i've been kind of doing myself implementing myself and doing a little bit more consistently and uh, I just wanted to share them with you guys. One of the things I would say is like listening to podcasts, which I know can be a little bit like broad general advice, but the reason why I say podcasts is because, you know, you can get, there's so many podcasts out there. I mean, I, I'm even doing a podcast now. So there's so many podcasts out there. However, you can pick and choose exactly what's right for you, right? The same way we pick our music, you can pick what type of information you consume on your way to work on this commute. So you can find someone who's interesting to you about some topic that's interesting to you. So whatever goals you have, whatever ambitions you have, if there's something you wanna learn, something you wanna know more about, or someone's lifestyle that you're interested in, certain type of lifestyle, whether it's like maybe vegan or some type of dietary lifestyle, that you want to get into maybe you want to get more into entrepreneurship and starting a business maybe you want to get into software development and coding there's just so many different avenues culinary and cooking and all these different like niches that you could get into and you don't have to necessarily be in front of your computer to consume information about these things that you that you want to uh learn about and you you don't even have to cut new time out of your day to learn about this let's say you only have a 15 minute commute to work there and back each day so and that's with no traffic right so like there's a half an hour a day that you could be learning a little bit more about something that's going to help you achieve your goal or get closer to something you want to do or just you know fill your curiosity about something you want to learn more about maybe a hobby so that, you know, just don't take that time for granted because I think finding a podcast or a personality or a voice or someone whose mind or whose show or whose podcast kind of resonates with you as a person and you can actually listen to their speaking style. You actually like their jokes or humor or the type of content they deliver, the way they present their information, the way they package it. You know, maybe the format is just right. Maybe you find uh, an exactly 30 minute podcast and listen to the first half on the way to work and the second half on the way home from work you know like there's just so many different ways that you could you can find the perfect type of content maybe not perfect but you can find content that works really really well for you and you don't have to visually watch it all the time and be in front of your computer but you can fill that daily commute time every single day with information that you just consume and listen to almost like an audiobook but it's just conversation you know what i mean so i think finding a great podcast that is in something that you're interested in and doing that on your way to work every day could just be a really great way to kickstart a new habit that can kind of push you towards the right mindset or goals or learning something that you want to learn this new so the second thing is like listening to short bios about successful people or people who have done things in life that you aspire to do or be like and the reason why I think biographies are really, really important to listen to or read, whatever, however you choose to do it. But the reason why I think they're important is because every great person in history has an incredible story to their life usually. And there's usually a lot of adversity that comes with that. And based on whatever time period they were you know, in or whatever, society and 
I mean, everything just plays a huge role in the types of obstacles those people had to face in order to be great. And so I say that because sometimes I think we believe that we could have such a unique situation or such a tough situation, or such a hard and challenging situation that other people can't relate to it. But in reality, you know, if we look at who some of the greatest people have been or are right now and we look at their lives, you know, then we see that adversity is a part of the story for them. The adversity was a part of like those hard and dark and challenging times is really what they had to push through in order to come out on the other side with whatever goal they were reaching for in the first place. So, you know, listening to someone else's life and story will make you really respect what they had to go through in order to accomplish some level of change or impact in the world. And it can really inspire you that if they can go through that and they can do that, then you can make it through whatever you're going through. So I think listening to bios on your commute to work every single day or getting more familiar with people's lives who you aspire to be like and what they've gone through in life can really, really be a great new habit to to work into your daily commute every day on your way to work. The last thing is not so much a, a tip, but just more of like a rhetorical question to just kind of think about when you guys are commuting to work every day and if you're the type of person that listens to music um i guess i wrote this to relate to music but i guess it can also relate to whatever you do in your drive to work so if you talk on the phone or if you listen to news or if you listen to like npr or if you do listen to music this kind of applies to all of those but basically what are you consuming during your commute every day just think about that what are you consuming every day right now during that 10 to 30 minutes to an hour every single day one way so maybe you know double that for your entire commute to work at home every day what are you consuming what type of information what type of content is it what type of music are you listening to what type of radio stations are you listening to what type of npr are you listening to and is it helpful is it pushing you towards your goals is it teaching you something new that you're interested in is it making you a better person in some aspect is it making you a more well-learned person is it making you a more open-minded person like is it pushing you towards your goals ultimately in some way shape or form or is it subconsciously doing the opposite and the key word there is subconsciously because i think we sometimes don't think the music or whatever we listen to can really impact us because we have our own opinions and we're our own person and so we don't think that that's really having an impact on us but subconsciously we can be hanging on to certain things we pick up from music or from radio stations or just whatever uh conversations that we have with people just whatever we're doing every single day during that time i think you know, it's worth being aware of it at least and just know that if we're not already using it to the best of our ability, then that is a piece of time out of our day, every single day. For those of us that work and have day jobs, you know, like obviously for me, the goal is to not have a day job one day as well. Um, I want to be free. I want to be an entrepreneur full time. However, you know, this is the grind, which you guys are seeing right here. This is the grind on the way to doing that. And until then i gotta be conscious of how i spend every minute of every day so i can actually reach that dream and my daily commute even though it sucks every day 30 to 40 minutes i realized is something that i can take i can't replace it and i can't remove it from my life but i can optimize it and i can make it work for me so i just want you guys to think about that next time you guys are commuting and i hope you guys enjoyed this so if you did leave me some comments down below let me guys let me know what you guys thought about all this i love chatting up with you guys in the comment section uh be sure to like share and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this it really helps me stay motivated to keep making videos and putting out content for you guys lastly if you're a software developer make sure you guys check out the freebie section down below the description box where i'm giving away free stuff every single video for you guys uh yeah that's about it y'all this is darian with darian the dev and i'll see you in the next video all right Peace.